Hey guys, um, I thought I'd do a little video for how to deal with wrapping a leg straightener. Um, I've purposely let Lucas get a little crabby and tired because then he's extra not compliant, although he is not compliant most of the time. <laughs> Something that's really important when you're wrapping a, a leg straightener <clears throat> in getting a good seat is having a really easy to use wrap. I know a lot of people will tell you that thick wraps are the way to go with heavy babies, but you can get a lot of great thinner wraps that are still really, really supportive. And a wrap that's easier to manipulate will be a lot easier to, to deal with. So I'm going to use my one of my most moldable wraps and one of my favorite to use. Um, and then we'll see if we can get him to stay in the wrap. I'm just going to put him on my back. show you a really great way to get a seat although you know Lucas is pretty much a plank so he may not keep it there even if you do it really well so I'm reaching between his legs and pulling all of the slack down from his shoulders to under his bum so I can tuck that underneath technique you use to get your seat as much as how you try and keep them in the seat while you're wrapping. I find that cross passes help keep him contained better. So while I'm working with this side of my wrap, I have to keep my hand on his bum using my forearm to keep the leg spread. That will help to um, keep him in his seat. So I'll use my chin to help keep my slack in my wrap or to help keep it from getting slack in it. And another trick you can do to help deepen the seat is to stand up, let gravity take effect, and then push them down so that the knees are up higher than the bum. I find cross passes contain a leg straightener better. So I'm going to bring this down and work quickly before he straightens again. See, there he goes. I'm using my arms to bring him back in his seat and coming across. I have to keep my hands behind my back and on his bum pretty much at all times using my arms to keep those legs up because as soon as he starts pushing down with those legs the seat's gonna go now once I can get one cross pass in he'll have a lot harder time popping out of that seat although he is still trying to hold him wide open. So I flick the shoulder and come across. It's really important to use as much of your resources as you can. So your chin, your elbows, whatever you've got to help hold your baby where you need it and your wrap where you need it will work really well. So there, he's snugly into a back wrap cross carry. And while he didn't make it easy on us, we did get it done. So hopefully that helps a little bit with some tips for maybe how to deal with wrapping your plank baby.